your host, Erica Moore, checking in for Scenester TV outside of the new Hollywood hotspot, The Cosmo, here with DJ Savvy, the headliner for tonight. How are you? Pretty amazing. How are you doing? I'm fantastic. You so, look fantastic. Oh, I thank you. So you're a Hollywood favorite. Thank and you. you're a resident DJ. What what uh, got you into DJing in the first place? Uh, I grew up playing in bands. I managed the original Hyde back in the day, uh -huh. 2006, 2008. Okay. Back when uh, Stevie Oki was still playing hip hop and Sam Ronson was one of our residents. So I got to kind of hear all the best DJs in LA at the same time. And I played in bands and stuff, so I got really into music. And on Sundays, it kind of started as a hobby and then turned into uh, a career on accident, I guess. And I stopped managing and then that happened. Happy passion. Thanks. But <laughs> well, it, it really is like music's been a passion of mine my entire life. So the fact that I'm able to do that as a living that, that I never intended on doing, uh -huh. that's amazing. You found your outlet. I mean, it's still going, but yeah. And what equipment are you using to mix, to master, to spend with? A lot of questions, different <laughs> answers. Uh, I started with uh, vinyl and a laptop. So I was kind of like one of the first, I guess you call them new school DJs that worked on Serato playing like old school 80s and rock and hip hop. And then in 2010, I kind of hit the house boom. I think like a little bit before it got super commercial the way it is now. Um, but I got to play with Benny Benassi and that was the first time I played on CDJs. And wow. I played with Paul Oakenfold and then I didn't use a laptop. And then I kind of went that route. So for me now, when I go play like a marquee in Vegas or I play Excess in Vegas or the mid in Chicago or like all these big house room venues, uh -huh. just CDJs. And the studio, I work on Logic and Ableton producing and stuff. Right on, right on. What's your favorite song to spin right now? What's your favorite track to mix? <laughs> I mean, tonight with Snoop DJ and like probably one of the big records will be uh, either Bugatti, which is massive all over the country yeah. right now, or one of his old records that I think he'll perform probably in like a half hour or so. And then in the house world, uh, I mean, people love this uh, Blurred Lines record, the house remixes of all that which is, that's probably one of the biggest ones out right now. Right, right. Got to get your sexy on. I mean, get your sexy on. <laughs> <laughs> and so what do you resident, do you do any residency here in LA? What are residencies you have coming up? Residencies are, are crazy because they used to exist where it would be like back in the day, I would be here on Monday and here on Tuesday. And now it's not like that. It's, I think, become such a phenomenon that DJs get placement more towards the artist aspect. Okay, right That on. it's looked at like you don't want to be performing all the time at the same right. place. You want to keep it fresh. So yeah. um, you try and mix it up and play different venues throughout. Being that I live here in LA, I play LA obviously the most of anywhere in the country, but uh, I'm all over. I headed to Chicago and to um, Dallas and to, I think Chicago, Dallas this weekend. All right. Yeah, it's cool. I mean, you get to travel, you get to play exotic places, and meet a lot of cool people. Um, honestly, it really is like, I say it all the time, people give me crap, but it's, it's living the dream. I literally am doing that. Like, a week ago, I had no idea I'd be playing with Snoop Dogg, and, right. then, and then you get a phone call, and it's like, hey, dude, so look, we're going to have Snoop come, he wants to play early, he's going to hop on the mic, and then you're going to go do your thing. Uh, he's cool with it, you're cool with it. Yes, sure, I would love to play with Snoop Dogg. Right. You know, like, when and that happens, it just, it makes it all amazing. How do we follow you and track you? And do you have any leaks or anything new coming out that we can expect? I do. Um, first, you could find me on Twitter at twitter.com slash DJ Savvy, Instagram DJ Savvy. It's all DJ Savvy. And I have a record that I'm doing. We did one with Taryn Manning, uh, uh -huh. her song Send Me Your Love that charted. We got played yeah. on Kiss FM, played all over BPM radio. And she has a new song coming out um, probably in about two weeks. And I did one of the official remixes, so that'll be the next thing that comes out for me. Then I've been working with Bruno Mars Sisters on a record. Uh, they have a show on We Network that's coming out in the fall, so I'm excited for that. Um, a couple stuff for the new Romeo and Juliet film I've been working on. Wow, you're busy. I mean, a lot of hard work over a lot of years finally coming together. I'm very excited about it. All. Awesome. Thank, Thank you, you for, for watching, watching Scenester.tv.